it's a, it's a Google Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. Keywords Everywhere, you can turn it on and turn it off. And when you're doing a search, Keywords Everywhere will tell you how popular that keyword search is. So let's pretend you're a wedding photographer. So if you put in wedding photographer name of city, then um, Keywords Everywhere will tell you how many people are looking for that. It enables you to figure out the exact phrasing of your keywords. So that's something to experiment with and play around with. Are they looking for food, photog food photography name of city, wedding photography, or wedding photographer? Which one has key more keyword searches? You can title your web pages alternatively. So you can capture keywords on one page and then something very similar on another. So, um, so you could make one page, food photographer or wedding photographer, name of city, and then another page could be name of city, wedding photography, that kind of a thing. So, um, and another thing here, I'm, I'm circling on my website, get your social media links down off at the bottom of navigation. Don't put them up in the corners. Those are hot spots. The last thing you want to do is entice your prospect off your website. So get your social media links down somewhere. So I always have it on the bottom of my navigation. We'll tip there. Okay, a few more SEO requirements. Make sure if somebody puts your name photography that you show up. You have to make sure that if somebody heard about you and they're curious about your work, you just wanna make sure if they put in your name photography, you're gonna show up there. So. I've had a website a long time, so I have a lot of like Google SEO juice, I call it, because it's been around a long time with the same URL, with the same content. I haven't changed my content. I haven't changed, um, well, I mean, we'll talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I did change it in the beginning. I was trying to be a Jackie of all trades, master of none. But <laughs> about 18 years ago, I only focused on food. And then my SEO just took off. So now the Google bots understand, hey, this lady over here, she shoots food. And so when people do a search, they can find that. So there's what's called on-page SEO and back-page SEO. On-page SEO is everything you can visually see, the text, the images, and the videos. And then front or back-end SEO is all what's called metadata. And these are more descriptions and more details that we can put into our website to let the Google bots know, hey, this website is about this. And it really can help you with um, searching and things like that. So if you're unfamiliar with this and you're like, what is she talking about? Again, check out the SEO webinars here. There's several um, parts that they have a, one, like a webinar series that they broke out on SEO. Check that out. And also talk to whoever's hosting your website. They probably will have some information as well, specifically related to your theme or your builder where you can go in and they might even have some educational content for what to put where on the back end for your site as well. The way you name your images is actually also a keyword thing that you can do and use. Get more Google juice on that and um, uh, something called alt tags. So it's again, it's just another way of letting um, you know, the search engines know what we have on our sites.